Hello, welcome to Vedil Bhagaparai. In this video, we are going to see a question from GATE 2023 question paper. It is a question which is based on nuclear reaction. So let us see the question first. The choices that correctly identify radioisotopes P, Q, R, S shown in the following nuclear reaction is R. So, in this particular question, we see there is the choice of four different isotopes for the four different entities that are formed and we are asked to find out which among them is correct. So, this is a multiple correct question and so you, are, you will get more than one correct as the answer. So, when we are looking at this particular question, what we have to see is the charges carried by the alpha particle, the neutrons and the protons. So, it is not a very difficult thing, it is a very simple and easy question. So, we know the mass of the alpha particle is 4 and its atomic number is 2 because we know helium is alpha particle and it is 4 and 2. Similarly, for the neutron we know it is 1 and 0. For the proton also we know it is 1 and 1, mass and charge are 1 and 1. For neutron, it is 1 and 0. So, now in a nuclear reaction, it is a very simple thing. That is the additive value of all the reactants must be equal to the additive values of all the products. In the sense, the sum of the mass numbers of the reactant must be equal to the sum of the mass numbers of the product. Let me use first example and uh, let me explain it to you. So, in this reactant, the sum of the mass number that is on top is 60 plus 4 which is equal to 64. So, when you are talking about the atomic number which is 28 plus 2 which is equal to 30. In the sense this reactant this reactant has a total mass of 64 and atomic number of 30. So, the unstable product that is formed in between must have the sum total value of both the reactants. So, we see P must be 64 and 30 that is the mass of P must be 64 and the atomic number must be 30. And when we see the options that are given here, we see option A is absolutely correct because here we see P is 34, uh, 64 and uh, 30 which is attributed to zinc. Now, let us look at the other products. So, Q, R and S. So, as I told you, the sum of the mass num values of the uh, reactants must be equal to the sum of the values of the product. So, here we see the neutron already has a, has a value of 1. And so, the Q value will be minus that 1 and, and Q will be 63 and 30 because in the denominator we see the charge of the neutron is 0. So, 30 minus 0 will be 30. Similarly, when we see for R, it is 2 neutrons in the sense 2 uh, quantity must be removed from the mass number. So, the mass number of R must be 62 and of course, the neutrons carry no charge and so the atomic number will remain at 30. Now coming to yes, in case of yes, the mass number um, should be minus 2 because one proton and one neutron are there. So, it will be 62 and in the denominator we see it is only the proton that carries a charge, the neutron does not. So, 30 minus 1 which is 29. So, among these 3, let us match up and see. So, 63, 30 for Q is correct. So, option B is also correct because uh, it attributes to what we have seen. Now, coming to option C. In case of an option C, R must be 62 and 29. But what we see here is R is 62 and 30. So, the option C is wrong. That is, the R value must be 62 and 30 only and not 62 and 
29. Now coming to D. The AX value must be 62 and 29. And so here what we see 62 and 29 is correct which is attributed to copper. So yes value is also correct. So the option D is also correct. So in this particular question we see the P, Q and S values are correct whereas this R value is wrong. So this is how we solve these problems and it's very easy and simple problem. Uh, we can score very well in such questions. I hope you understood. Thank you and please subscribe to the videos and uh, benefit from the videos that have been posted earlier. Thank you.